Marijuana use among teenagers is at its highest in 30 years. In fact, kids smoke pot more than any other illegal drug. Many don't think it's dangerous, but local health officials are alarmed about the harmful effects of chronic marijuana use on learning. Carmen Polito is a psychologist who studies those effects. She joins me now. Welcome, Carmen. Thank you. Let's start with the hard data on marijuana use among local teens. In 2011, 26% of ninth graders and 39% of 11th graders reported using or trying marijuana. Also in 2011, the percentage of students in those grades reported using marijuana in the last 30 days, it grew by 50%. Why are more teens using marijuana now? Uh, we are all asking ourselves that question, and I think that one, you know, one of the things that we have found out in our research is that maybe we have put a lot of emphasis on, um, you know, outreaches and community education on other substances like alcohol uh, and harder drugs, but we have kind of like left marijuana to be, and uh, a group of researchers at UCSD were focusing a little bit more in really getting some hard data in terms of what are the effects of marijuana use in the adolescent years so that people can make better informed decisions when it comes to, to initiating substance use. And in terms of information, a lot of students, a lot of teenagers think, look, marijuana is a natural herb. They know that cancer patients use it. But you've actually researched the effects of marijuana use on the brain uh, during adolescence. What does your research show? Um, so I'm very fortunate to be part of a larger group of researchers at UCSD. And what we have found is that recent marijuana use in adolescents that otherwise are fairly healthy um, show that it m makes an effect in their ability to learn verbal material, to use their working memory, and to attend to information. This is um, within seven days from last use. Now, these this results of impairment in these abilities is when we compare them to healthy adolescents who are not using any substances. Is the damage long term? You know, there's some good news, and the good news is that we observe that after some abstinence, these abilities recover. So we know that after two or three weeks, things like working memory and learning of verbal material improves so that you cannot really tell apart healthy adolescents from marijuana users. But other cognitive abilities like attention or errors in executive functioning, they appear to linger a little bit longer, even uh, longer than a month. A lot of these teens have parents who come from an era, a generation where marijuana use was rampant. But the marijuana that's used now isn't their father's marijuana or their mother's marijuana, is it? Right, so some, um, some studies suggest that there might be something up to a six-fold increase in the psychoactive ingredient of today's marijuana. So what this suggests is that what people are smoking nowadays might be a lot more potent, and um, this will lead to greater concentrations of toxins in the brain. And so that's why we are particularly interested in knowing um, you know, what kind of effects can, can this lead to? What signs should parents look for in, in discerning or detecting whether their kids are using pot? You know, parents were very bad at uh, identifying uh, marijuana use, and I think that it's very important for them to be mindful of any changes in the adolescent's behavior, you know, not wanting to hang out with their friends or changes in their grades or not discussing what their goals are anymore. Uh, this together with maybe some other um, behaviors um, like being more secretive or spending more time um, alone with their peers or in their room. I think that these would be some things that could suggest that something is happening. Um, and, and, and I think uh, a good idea would be for parents to have a conversation early on if they have a suspicion that their teenagers are using marijuana. And very quickly, what effect do um, medical marijuana laws have on the usage of marijuana among teenagers? Well, any kind of changes in law or anything that would um, suggest increased availability and uh, permissiveness of the substance, 
you know, that being marijuana or any other substance, is likely to increase the uh, access and the um, opportunity for teenagers to use more. So this is just what, um, you know, these changes would suggest. We, we're yet to observe that. And we're running out of time, but for more information, people can go to our website, kpbs.org. Carmen, thank you for coming in today. Thank you.